hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is ebony if you're new here we are setting new goals new achievements new everything for 2022 so i thought i'd come on here and do something a little different i know you guys are going to say you haven't seen me in a couple months I think the last video I had up was like the December decorate with me. So I'm setting new goals for YouTube. So I just wanted to get on here and give you guys all the aesthetic vibes on getting your goals together, getting your life prioritized. But like I said, I have so many things I want to accomplish for 2022. And um, I know this definitely motivates me whenever I look at other people and see what other people's goals are and dreams and aspirations and things like that. So I thought I'd take you guys um, along for the ride. So let's go ahead and get into my computer and I'm just going to share the way I break it down for monthly goals and things like that. So, Okay, so I hope I did this right. If so, you'll see it on the screen. But um, so like I was saying for career, we so right here for career, I'm just gonna go through each one and just tell you what type of goal I have for it. Um, if it doesn't totally make sense to you guys. So um, I have several businesses that um, I'm trying to grow. So that's that might be why. Um, and for 2022, I definitely wanted to bring in more goals that um, weren't necessarily something I have to reach, but more of something that I want to work on. So, um, for career, um, finish my Mintler course. So, um, I'm in the process of launching a children's boutique, but I have to finish the course in order to, um, launch the boutique. Just want to make sure everything that I'm doing is, um, you know, sort of having like my ducks in a row type thing. So I'm going to make sure to finish that course and then launch my website, which is almost there. I literally have maybe two more weeks to go. It's just finding the time and prioritizing, of course, to launch it. But that is my goal for the month of January is to launch that website. Um, my second thing is, um, if you're new here, well, I really haven't explained it on my site, but I do own a shop in Greensboro, North Carolina. Um, it is a frozen yogurt shop. So um, I just want to go in being more positive. Um, you know, the last six months have definitely been challenging as a new business owner. So just to be completely discreet with you guys, um, it's been a lot of ups and downs, roller coaster, learning a lot, taking in knowledge and things like that. So I just want to go in it in 2022 and overall in January, just being more positive about it. Um, speaking more positive um, about it. I'm all about manifestation. Whatever you put out in the universe is what you receive. So I just be more positive overall. Um, the next one, don't judge me, don't judge me, but it is to upload one video. Okay, so I'm giving my goal to upload one video every two weeks. However, I have set my goals down here to upload once a week. So, I'm gonna try my best. But I went ahead and broke down like what videos, if I were to do once a week, these were the videos that I would do. Of course, I'm recording my January monthly reset now. So that would already be um, completed. So what I would just go in and do at the end of the month, and I'll come back to this um, at the end of the month, but I would just go and highlight it like so. And then that way I know when I look back on it that I completed this task. Um, so I have to upload one video every two weeks. However, it would be a wonderful goal to do once a week, but I don't want to set myself up to fail is what I'm trying to say. Um, so my next one is to continue organizing the shop. So, um, like I was just saying earlier, we came into this, I think we were going in about six, we, we, purchased it in June so we opened it up in June so we're still in the process of organizing things um, I'm trying to make sure I'm on top of it with my employees and things like that so I just want to continue organizing and perfecting the shop um, if that is um, you know finances if that is um, 
making sure to get the schedule out for the girls uh, in a timely manner. So just all those little small things, I wanna make sure that I'm organizing and I'm just staying on top of it. Um, I always feel like an organized place sets you up for success, of course. So just continue to organize and organizing the shop is definitely something I wanna work on in January. And um, another overall, as far as career wise, I just wanna be open to new things, um, not necessarily for the shop, but for other things like, so for example, my Mintler course that I'm want to finish I want to be open to taking in all that knowledge and launching that website or um, be open to taking other tasks and things like that so I just wanted to add that in there just for whenever I reflect back on things or when I need to come look at um, you know my goals for the month that I remember to definitely be open to new things um, so the next thing is going over to health and wellness um, so for health and wellness you know it's pretty standard I did um, like I was saying for 2022 I definitely want to go in it with a mindset of not pushing myself to limits to where I just don't you know meet any of my goals so I'm start definitely starting off small so what I did for health and wellness I want to drink at least 64 ounces of water a day so um, that would be half a gallon which I know gallon is a goal but um, I haven't been doing very well with um, drinking water daily so I wanted to set myself up to something that I would be able to achieve so I'm gonna say 64 ounces of water would be best and then for exercising I don't want to set myself up to say yes I'm gonna exercise five days a week because it doesn't never happen so I want to do like a Tuesday Thursday thing and then what I'm gonna do is piggyback off of that and do like a Monday Wednesday um, where I meditate and journal. Now for journaling, I definitely wanna do this every single day. However, Monday and Wednesday, there's no excuses. Um, and then I want to definitely meditate. I've noticed that when I meditate in the mornings, it definitely helps me throughout the day with my patience, with my thought process. You know, it has a lot of benefits for meditating. So um, I definitely want to keep that as a priority for January. And um, as far as health and wellness, um, I have, um, sort of neglected my eating habits I might do okay but I definitely want to stop snacking less in the evening I feel like that's a habit um, that a lot of people need to break um, not in, um, also including myself so I just wanted to put that down there just to make sure that um, I'm not just eating to eat or snacking to snack but also you know anything that I put in my body it is some type of nourishment um, and trying to snack less after seven o'clock. Overthinking book, and I'll put it up on the screen too as well, but it actually has been really good. It's been a slow read for me, maybe three months ago, so it's definitely no excuse that I haven't, that I should have already finished it, but um, I wanna finish that book for the month of January. It's all about anxiety, and um, if you have a lot of thoughts and things like that, I would definitely recommend that book. Um, it gives you a lot of strategies and things like that. It's definitely an educational book, um, and that's honestly pretty much all the books that I read, but um, I definitely want to finish that book for January. And then y'all, um, Starbucks is an obsession. My family knows it, and that is something that I need to get away from for the month of, for 2022 period. But for Starbucks, we're gonna set ourselves up for success, because it was definitely four or five times a week, but we're gonna say once a week. Once a week for Starbucks, and that's it. Like that's what I'm putting my foot down to say and that's what I'm gonna do. So for example, um, I'm gonna probably choose Friday. I feel like Friday is the best day to do it because I'm looking forward to something at the end of the week, things like that. But um, I definitely have my coffee at home so I have no excuses. Looking forward to accomplishing that goal. I will be very proud of myself if that goal is accomplished. But um, you know. And then the next one is I want to plan out my morning routine. I feel like morning routines First of all, I'm obsessed with watching them. But second of all, I just feel like they set your day up for so much success. Now, I'm not saying that your morning routine has to include 10 different things, because mine clearly don't. But, I, I mean, even if it's something as making your bed, you know, tidying up your house or whatnot, but I definitely want to plan it out. I feel like it needs to be strategic. It needs to be planned out to where it's feasible and easy for me to do it without question or do it without a thought process and for 2022 i definitely want to perfect that i want to have something set in place um 
for me so for january i didn't want to go into it like january 1st all right you got this routine you got this but it was more of i want to plan it out start doing bits and pieces every single day to where i'll perfect it and actually have a set routine at the end of january hope that makes sense um my next thing is to travel to one place a month that is a goal for 2022 is to travel one place each month we had done this i think maybe two years ago when kobe hit of course that stopped but i just want to do one thing a month that i've never done before so we already have the month of january planned out to where we're going to florida for my birthday so i know that'll get checked off but that's why i put it on there so i know that that's going to be an accomplishment for january but um so yeah, that's that's a goal for the month of January that I know I will hopefully, hopefully be be able to accomplish. Um, and the next thing is I seen this thing on Instagram where people are doing like and they're organizing a space per week. Um, so I wanted to do and for the most part, you guys have seen my videos. For the most part, our space is organized, but I always feel like you know you have those certain spaces like our entryway um, console um, needs to be organized or like the receipts and stuff needs to I need to go through them more often but I just wanted to pick a space each month better yet maybe once every two weeks um and organize that space so that way um you know I'm sort of staying on top of things and not waiting three months down the road and then a nice way to stay on top of things and organize each space and not so, feel so overwhelmed with always having to have an organized house space or whatnot so I thought that would be a nice goal to do organizing one space per month if not two um two would be great but i'll at least give myself a goal of doing at least one um and then as far as financial um i didn't have too much just because we are doing a ton of um you know we're in our growth stage of building it and getting out in the community marketing our company however you know i have my other goals outside of the shop as far as like i told you guys i definitely want to launch mintler not necessarily a financial goal but um that is something to get to my financial goal which is to make two to five thousand a month on my store once um, i get it launched so I gotta start somewhere so my first financial goal for Mintler is to get it up and running I have my yearly goal of making two to five thousand a month with that so just thought I'd share that with you guys um, we do have another company within our shop so we have goals for that one and that is to make six thousand this month we're really close to hitting that so I wanted to make that a goal too as far as financially I wanted to do like a no extra spend January of course because the last couple of months we've all been spending for Christmas and things like that I want us to go into January starting out with um, not spending so much money not always feeling like every time we have to go in the store we have to purchase something things like that so of course if we if we have to have it or if it's a necessity we would buy it but just as far as like if we go into a store and we see a pair of shoes that we like we don't have to have those shoes so I, I I'm just calling it sort of made it up myself but calling it no extra spend january so we're not going to spend that extra money for the month so um i'm excited about these goals that i've set for january i definitely feel like they're doable and then i also have my videos for the month of january and i would love for you guys to let me know what you think in the comments below but of course this video would be my january monthly reset video and i'm gonna try to get these out at the beginning of each month and then um if you guys want me to share my 22 goals for 2022 i would definitely love to do that just let me know in the comments below next one is um organize your space challenge like i was telling you guys as far as my lifestyle goal right here which is to organize one space per month i thought it would be neat to actually record the space that i'll organize um and then my last one would be my january goals review so basically all the goals that i've put down in each category we'll just go through each one and say yes i accomplished it um i might need to work on that next month or um you know just building off of january into february so i thought it'd be neat for us to review and um, if you guys have any goals that you need to set go ahead and write those down and we can definitely go over them at the end of the month i hope you guys had a great new year's and i will see you guys in the next one bye <laughs>